वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारविंदम वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारविंदम संसार दावा नवनी दलोका त्रनाय कारुण्य घना घना प्रत्यस कल्याण वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारविंद महाप्रभु कीर्तन लित गीता वरित मन सुर सेना रोमांचो काम पाशु तरंग भाजो वंदे गुरु श्री चरणारविंद श्री विग्रह Glories of Naraji. <clears throat> From where to start with? He already touched many points. He just touched the point. He didn't elaborate those points. <clears throat> But if we elaborate those points, <clears throat> Shri Naraji is Jagat Guru, <clears throat> Guru of entire universe, 
and many people got mercy of naraji oh. irrespective of if they are sinful or they are pious <clears throat> or they are learned or they are gyanis or they are inquisitive <clears throat> there are so many disciples of narayan more kings are disciples of narayan <clears throat> we heard this morning we had program abhijit house <clears throat> we heard some examples Yeah. there are two disciples of naraji they are they are young in age dhru maharaj and prahlad maharaj and they are two they are old <coughs> one is valmiki another is ved vyas <coughs> and the description of naraji life story is mentioned in shriman bhagavatam first canto <clears throat> we are not finished first canto yet can everybody move little bit up there are more people coming please everyone move up usko upar kar do dande ko thoda sa upar kar do hari krishna hari bol hari hari krishna ah uh, हरी बोल हरे कृष्ण हो गया पहले तो ठीक चल रहा था इन राम लीला इन राम लीला इन कृष्ण लीला इन राम लीला इन कृष्ण लीला एंड इवन इन गौर लीला श्री नारद जी एज ग्रेट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन seems like bhagwan can't perform any pastime without naraji he is bhakt avatar <clears throat> bhagavatam describes gopyat kamo bhay kamso desh chete ad nepa <clears throat> naraji is telling this words o oh, parikshit gopi se batein krishna with their pain with their love भय कंसो एंड कंस गॉट ही अटेन द लॉर्ड विथ फियर एंड शिशुपाल ही गॉट प्रॉक्सिमिटी विथ कृष्णा विद एंड मिस एंड परीक्षित यू विद रिलेशन एंड नाराजी वेरी बोल्डली से डिवोट इज लाइक अस विद डिवोशन अ ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी इन शिवन भागवतम when naraji is giving instructions to ved vyasi the most learned personality <coughs> ved vyas is shaktavesh avatar she ved vyas is shaktavesh avatar <coughs> she naraji is also shaktavesh avatar what is shaktavesh avatar means when lord infuses a special potency <coughs> in a liberated soul not कंडीशन सोर्स लाइक अस देर नोन एज शक्त वेश अवतार लॉर्ड इन्वेस्ट इज पोटेंसी इन लिबरेटेड सोर्स दे आर इटर्नली लिबरेटेड वी आर इटर्नली कंडीशन दिस इज अ डिफरेंस सो नॉट इन एनी जीव लाइक अस बट इन लिबरेटेड सोर्स दे आर नोन एज शक्त वेश अवतार so ved vyas is also shakta vishabda and naraji is also shakta vishabda <coughs> but naraji the potency invested naraji is the potency of bhakti 
देखो नारद जी रोड नारद भक्ति सूत्रस वट आर दूत्रस सात अस्मिन परम प्रेम रूप नारद जी सेट सम सूत्रस वट इज सूत्र मीन्स स्वात अस्मिन परम प्रेम रूप devotional service manifests as the most elevated pure love for god he is establishing this what is devotional practice means what is bhakti means devotional service manifests as the most elevated pure love for god <coughs> which is not mixed with any karma and any jnana so this sutra is aligned with bhak- bhakti sami sindhu rup go sami saying अन्य अभिलाषित शून्य दैट भक्ति विच इज नॉट मिक्स विद एनी अदर काइंड ऑफ डिजायर नॉट मिक्स विद ज्ञान एंड कर्म दिस इज वन सूत्र अमृत स्वरूप चा इन शॉर्ट यू नो जस्ट लाइक इंडिकेशन टू समवन नो नीड टू एलैबरेट ऑन दिस अमृत स्वरूप चा वट इज अ मीनिंग the pure love for god is eternal so these are sutras and elaborating those sutras then there is so many details the whole philosophy is there <coughs> but intellectual personalities they understand everything by hint just like shrimad bhagavatam what we have now is 18000 verses shrimad bhagavatam 12 cantos <coughs> but bhagavatam was given by krishna to brahma ji in just sutras you know just four verses <coughs> for intellectual personalities to understand so naraji don't have to elaborate what is bhakti amri sarupa cha bas and learning people can easily understand what is the meaning amri sarupa cha <coughs> but for make us understand then there is so much so many details and elaborating so that's why when naraji came to ved vyas where <coughs> at batrik ashram she ved vyaji was sitting in a very despondent state on the bank of saraswati river saraswati was not happy and he himself was wondering why i am not happy <coughs> you know sometimes many ordinary people say you are devotees then why you don't feel so happy and why you lament and why you are sad devotees should always be very happy <clears throat> but they also feel sadness but their feeling of sadness is different from ordinary person they have something very high to think about ved vyas being shaktavesh avatar of the lord <clears throat> he wrote vedas puranas upanishads mahabharat all these great scriptures even then he was not happy after writing all that if you write just one poem you feel so happy and bliss if you write a book you feel so bliss ved vyasi he wrote He elaborated one Veda into four: Rig, Sam, Yajur, and Atharvaveda. Then he wrote eighteen Puranas. <clears throat> Then he wrote so many Upanishads: Mahabharat, hmm? Brahm Sutras. Even then he was so sad. Now ordinary person can think, "Oh, Vedvyasi, why you are so sad? You are not supposed to be." but he is not understanding why i am so sad and seeing this seeing his condition <clears throat> veena bajavat hari gun gavat 
प्रेम प्रसावत श्री नारद जी कैरिंग इज बीना बीना बजावत हरि गुण गावत सिंग द ग्लोरीज ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड प्रेम प्रसावत डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग प्रेम नारद जी इज कमिंग सिंग नारद जी अराइव थे श्री वेद व्यास टूड इन ऑनर एन के वी मसीद and when two sadhus meet they don't just discuss how are, how are you what you eat today <coughs> naraji immediately saw the face of vedvya ji and said what's wrong seems like you are not happy even though you have written so many scriptures what is the cause of your despondency Why you are not happy? Shila Ved Vyasji, <clears throat> even though Shakti is Shakti of the Lord, but you know Naraji is my Guru Dev. Because Naraji is also Shakti is Shakti, but Shakti is Shakti of Bhakti. Is Bhakti Avatar of the Lord? Imagine personification of Bhakti came as Shri Naraji. He said, Guru Dev. taking a very humble position even though it is this is etiquette been taught here even though we know the answer even even though if we know the answer even though if we know the scriptures don't try to show off when it comes to uh, addressing your guru dev keep yourself foolish and stupid <coughs> If we think we are very learned, then how is going to teach us and train us? But keep yourself. I'm stupid. I don't know anything. I'm fool. Then the flow of compassion comes. But if you pose yourself, if we pose ourselves, we are all learned. Then what is the compassion there? Compassion is always on the fallen. <laughs> compassion is always. on the fallen people if i think i'm not fallen how the compassion the flow of compassion will come so this is etiquette and this is humility <coughs> she ved vyaji very learned but out of etiquette is said gurudev i don't know the cause why i'm so sad ha huh, guru like you if you correct me and tell me where i was wrong then i can no this so please tell me then naraji smiled and he said bhavatan uditam prayam yasho bhagavat amlayam dene vashine tushte manyam tan darshanam khelam even though you have written bhagavat dharma <coughs> means the glories of the lord but not as it's supposed to be but vedvya ji said gurudev sorry excuse me <coughs> but i have written the past times of krishna mahabharat naraji said i am not speaking about krishna of mahabharat i am speaking about krishna of vrindavan they are not same they are different krishna krishna of mahabharat is devki nandan krishna <coughs> and krishna of vrindavan is yashoda nandan krishna they are not one and same they are two different krishnas <clears throat> one in mahabharat devki nandan krishna is exhibiting opulence and krishna from gokul vrindavan is showing sweetness madhuri and it's not that krishna born from devaki and was been given to yashoda to raise that's a very Uh, not bona fide <coughs> uh, they show in tv serial they show in movies but this is not according to scriptures from the scripture point of view <coughs> yashoda maya gave birth to krishna hmm? and krishna appeared in front of devaki in mathura in mathura and in gokul to krishna hmm? appeared and took birth So one who spoke Mahabharat, 
but there are many details that which Krishna spoke Mahabharat is also Yashoda Nandan Krishna. So I'm not going into that detail now, some other time. <coughs> but anyhow, Krishna spoke Bhagavad Gita. Kya bola tha na? Ha. So Naraji is telling Vedvyasji, <coughs> you not describe the past times of Krishna from Gokul. Vrindavan pastimes. That's the only cause that you feel you're not complete yet. Unless we describe or narrate the glories of Krishna from Vrindavan, the pastimes of Radha and Krishna, everything remains incomplete, no matter whatever it is. <clears throat> Any scripture remains incomplete. That's the only cause. So tell me, have you written anywhere that how the friends of Krishna, they are jumping on the shoulders of Krishna? Have you written anywhere how the friends of Krishna are snatching food from the mouth of Krishna? And Krishna is snatching from the mouth of their friends. They are eating each other's remnants. Such intimate mood between the Sakhas <coughs> and Krishna. Have you mentioned anywhere? He said, no. Have you mentioned anywhere in your writings how Yashoda Maya, seeing that Krishna is very naughty, she take cane in her hand and twist the ears of Krishna. And Krishna start weeping and crying. Or Krishna start rubbing his eyes to make the tears come to pacify Mother Yashoda. <laughs> Artificially. Jan Buchkar. Rubbing his eyes, at least two, three tears comes. Because I want to pacify Mother Yashoda. Yeah. And we sing this in Kartik Parikrama. Rudam tamuhu netram yugvam brejantam Karam hoja yugmena satanka netram Muhushwasakam patri vekhaka karanta Krishna is rubbing his eyes because he caught red-handed, stealing butter. Because he caught red-handed, stealing butter. Or doing naughty activities and Yashoda Maya, she raised her cane and pulled the ears of Krishna. So, Rudam Tamuhu Netram, what beautiful scene is that? That Par Brahm, the Supreme Lord, Bhira Piyad Bhibeti, ah, Kunti Devi saying in the first canto, how the fear get fearful by hearing the name of Krishna. And that Prabhu, Krishna, is fearful to see the anger of Mother Yashoda. Even fear get fearful. Bhira piyat bhibeti. Fear get fearful <coughs> by hearing the name of Krishna. Yeah. This is called sweet pastime, Madhuri Leela. It's only happening in Braj, in Vrindavan. <coughs> Not anywhere outside Vrindavan. That's the only glories and sweetness of Braj. So question comes, <clears throat> what is the speciality of Krishna crying? You know, one devotee told in Karthik <clears throat> last year that he said only Krishna cried. And that's the sweetness and beauty of Braj pastimes. I said, no. There are many incarnations of the Lord crying. They weep. I said, Narsim Bhagwan. He saw Parlat Maharaj paying obeisance to him. The tears of love uh, manifest in his eyes. He's shedding tears of love. He was, was also crying. Shri Ram. And so many occasions he cried. Na? And even Vishnu, he cried. Seeing the austerity of Kardam Rishi. Kardam Rishi, third canto Bhagavatam, is performing when uh, he's uh, doing a meditation <clears throat> and very 
इंटेंस फिनेंसेस हॉस्टेलिटीज सींग दिस द लॉर्ड अपीयर एन ही शेड टीयर्स एन ही क्रिएटेड बिंदु सरोवर विद हिस टीयर्स द कंप्लीट पॉन्ड सो इट्स नॉट दैट ओनली कृष्णा क्राइड ऑल इन कॉलेशन क्राइड then he said what is the speciality if krishna cry this is the speciality is no other incarnation cried out of fear or terror shri ram was not having terror in his eyes narsingha dev no terror in his eyes vishnu no terror in his eyes but only krishna is the one who is crying with terror in his eyes that's the sweetness you understand Rudam tamuhu netram, and he's rubbing his eyes. Oh, tears! Please come. I need your help. You are my friends. Because if Mother Yashoda will see tears in my eyes, then maybe she will spare me. Otherwise, today I'm not going to get hmm, forgive. <coughs> so this is speciality. So Naraji said, "Wait, Vyaji, did you ever wrote this anywhere?" He said, "No." you know i'm just catching a very fast otherwise this this uh, past time can go 3 days and then anand prabhu will complain you not completed first canto bhagavatam ha did you write anywhere how krishna is so much submissive to radharani is not seen in any other incarnation in any other past time of the lord shri ram never bow his head down to sita devi yeah there was a problem when there was swambar exchange of garland in janakpur when sita devi when shri ram broke that bow sita devi came with a garland to put on the neck of ram shri ram but there was a problem ram was tall Sita Devi is short, and how she has to put garland? Unless Ram bow his head down, and Sri Ram is Maryada Purushottam. This head is only for the my seniors, my guru jans. I can't bow my head. Uh, I can't. Huh? Yeah. Bow down my head for getting garland, and Sita Devi feeling so embarrassed here. Can't you just do for a second? Everyone is watching me. looking at me but ram is say no he just stand straight like this <laughs> <laughs> this is only for my seniors and my guru jans hmm. but then lakshman came and reconciled lakshman came and paid obeisance flat obeisance to ram ah. oh brother ram all glories to you you break this bow of shiva and ram went to lift lakshman <laughs> <laughs> and that was a good of time <laughs> and sita devi immediately she put the garland on the neck of shri ram bolo siya var ram jai jai that happens in india now in every marriage every marriage no, the guys doesn't go down so the fam- girl family comes the boys comes and their brothers and and then they pick the girl up so most marriages where this difference yeah they make a play yeah but in the story of she sita and ram this was natural and spontaneous natural. <laughs> you know so but only krishna he bows head down he keep his flute he keep his peak of feather and the lotus feet of shri radha rani saying dehi pad pallav udaram o radha rani place your lotus feet on my head narayan cannot say this ram ji cannot say this because there is so much maryada but only in krishna leela this happened only in krishna leela dehi pad pallav udaram the poison of separation had raised to my head and i want some cooling effect oh radha rani your lotus feet are so cooling place your lotus feet on my head so that I, this poison of separation gets subsided 
Krishna is praying for this. Uh, if Radharani is sitting in Nidubhan <clears throat> and waiting for Krishna to come, and if Krishna comes, walks in, and if she stand up in honor to Krishna, for Krishna, then Krishna is in, start trembling, something wrong. Mm -hmm. This is not normal. If Radhani stands up, stand up to greet Krishna, Krishna starts shaking, something wrong there. But if Krishna walks in the Kunja, in Nidubhan, and Radharani extends her feet, massage, that's very normal. And Krishna is very happy to massage the lotus feet of Radharani. Great scholars, Brahma, Shiva, they get confused. What is happening here? Par Brahm, Supreme Personality. And what is doing? Even a great poet, Kavi, Shri Jayadev Goswami, he can't write this. He saw this in meditation. A great poet, 1000 years back, Shri Jayadev Goswami. <coughs> Whatever is seeing, his writing. And his meditation came, how Krishna is placing his flute and his peacock feather at the lotus feet of Radharani. But he can't write this. I can't believe this. I can't write this. He stopped his pen. But then Krishna came and he completed that sentence. Take all children downstairs in the basement. They can play there. Well, I can't focus otherwise. <coughs> So Naraji told Vedvyaji, you know, um, mothers, Matajis can also, if you go downstairs, you can hear me speaking. Niche avaj aja ye, ha? Why say so? Nita uska bhashan mereko samaj nahi aara. Wo bhi ek lecture suna raha hai. Acha. Kya bola tha? I know, I just want to check how you are attending or not. So, Naraji said, Wait, Vyas, have you written somewhere all these pastimes? The Vrindavan sweet pastimes? He said, No, Gurudev. That's the only reason. You must mention Bhagavad Dharma. This is Bhagavad Dharma. Bhavatan Uditam Pray Yasho Bhagavad Amdaya. That is the only cause of your sadness. Right? The glories of Krishna, the pastimes of Krishna in Vrindavan. <coughs> what is Bhagavad Dharma? Then Naraji starts giving instructions to Naraji. Uh, Naraji giving instructions to Vedvyaji. Na yadva, na. He's saying, Taktva sadharanam charanam bhajam Hare bhajana apapko yadi Anyone who started following Bhagavad Dharma Understand Bhagavad Dharma means devotional practices. And without getting perfection, if he falls from bhakti or if he dies before getting perfection, <coughs> what harm? Naraji saying Vedvyaji, no harm. Whatever he has done up till now, that is his or her uh, permanent asset. No one can steal or snatch or destroy that. But on the other side, if anyone is not following Bhagavad Dharma, devotional practice, but doing all other responsibilities, what they will get? Naraji is saying nothing. I am not saying this. Bhagavatam, Naraji is speaking these words. You get nothing. So, practicing devotional services means bhakti is always auspicious even if there is fall or even if there is uh, a person dies before getting perfection. No harm. Taktva sudharanam charanam bhajan Hare bhajanok apakko yadi. 
Naraji also turning to Vedvya. These are little instructions. Then I'm coming to past time. <clears throat> He's saying, Na yadvas chitpadam hari yasho jagat pavitram pari gar karchit. Any composition, poetry or book or literature, whatever. Nice fine page, nice book cover, ornamental language, but no glories of the Lord is present there. This is considered to be as a pilgrimage place for the crow. A pilgrimage place for a crow. Where goes crow sits? Garbage. It's just a garbage. Crow always look for garbage. You know, this is mentioned Shivan Bhagavatam. Vedas are considered to be a, a cult through tree, means desire fulfilling tree. And Shivan Bhagavatam is the essence of the tree. Essence of the tree is in of his fruits. And Bhagavatam is considered to be which fruit? Mango. Strawberry? Cherries? Mango. Mango. The king of all the fruits. If a crow sits on that branch, if crow sits on the branch, crow is not eating that mango. Crow is only looking for garbage. Understand? <clears throat> if a pigeon sitting on the branch of of this Bhagavatam, not eating mango, pigeon only looking for the she pigeon. If a eagle sit on the branch, only looking for the dead bodies. They have no inclination to taste that mango. They are sitting on the same branch. But if a parrot sits there, only focus on eating mango. Shuk Mukhad Amrita Dravi Samritam. Shuk De Goswami. <coughs> Reciting Shivan Bhagavatam. Therefore, any composition where glories of lords are not Lord are not mentioned, they are place for the crow to enjoy. Garbage. But any book, any composition. <clears throat> which are, which is not well made, paper is so rough, cover is not good, but everywhere, every word, every sentence, the glories of the Lord are mentioned. <clears throat> it's considered to be Yashanvanti Gayanti Grananti Sadhava. It's for the sadhus to relish. They relish speaking, they relish hearing, they relish reading. It's meant for sadhus. Shanti Gayanti Grananti Sadhu. <coughs> so, after instructing to Vedvyasi, Nara said, I'm going to tell you one story. My own personal story. Kahani. Not from, from any sadhu, my own story. How I became a devotee. Nari said, in my previous life, I was the son of a maid servant. I was the son of a maid servant. My mother was very poor. And she was going to different houses and doing some menial services and getting paid. But my great fortune, in Chaturmasya, four months of rain, a great sadhus, saintly persons, they came in our village. My mother thought, if I engage my son in the service of those sadhus, at least he will get food to eat. <laughs> you know, whenever you go with the sadhus, at least you get prasadam there. <laughs> Sometimes devotees say, oh, we went to the program. What you learned there? I don't know. So what was take away? Oh, gulab jamas were very good. <laughs> <coughs> huh? Prashadam is good. So mother thought, if I engage my small little tiny child in the service of sadhus, at least he will get enough food because you know, she was a maid servant. <coughs> so Naraji was serving as a small boy serving those sadhus. And once upon a time, Naraji is telling this to Vedvyas. <clears throat> Once upon a time, sadhus, when they completed, when finished their prashad, out of respect, I approached them and I said, Uchishta lepan anamodita duja. 
ओ साधुस इफ यू गिव मी परमिशन कैन आई टेक योर लेफ्ट ओवर्स इफ यू परमिट मी विथ सच हम्बल मोड ही अप्रोच इन सींग हिम अ स्मॉल बॉय वेरी नो सेंट द साधु गिव परमिशन येस यू कैन हैव दिस नाद जी सेन मोमेंट आई टुक दैट रेमिनेंट्स आई डोंट नो वट हैपन टू मी आई गॉट चेंज भक्ति एमिनेटेड इन माई हार्ट दैट भक्ति विच इज सु दुर्लभा वेरी रेयर टू अटेन फर्स्ट कैंड टू भागवतम मुक्ति ददातित कहचित समान भक्ति योग कृष्ण नेवर गिव्स भक्ति सो इजी टू एनी वन ही इज इजी टू गिव ऑल अदर बूंस अ काम हो सर्व काम हो यू कम विद डिजायर यू कम विदाउट डिजायर और इफ यू कम विद अ डिजायर ऑफ लिब्रेशन कृष्ण सेन आई एम देयर टू फुलफिल ऑल योर डिजायर्स अप्रोच कम टू मी वाई गोइंग हेयर एंड देयर दिस बाबा एंड दैट बाबा आज फ्रॉम मी आई एम द वॉन्ट टू फुलफिल एवरी वन डिजायर Even if you want mukti, I am the one to give mukti. But bhakti is so rare; he hide that bhakti. He don't give access to each and every one like that because bhakti makes Krishna control in the heart, and Krishna is not that easy going to get control in anyone's heart. It's not that he is making it little sophisticated there. But there is shortcut to bhakti. You know, everyone is following shortcuts. Uh, we living in the world of shortcuts. <coughs> What is shortcut to bhakti? Bhakt pad dholi, bhakt pad jal, bhakt bhukt avashesh, teen sadhir bhav. What is that meaning, Prabhu? Charan Devi. English me bolo. So the food dust of uh, a devotee and the uh, Remnants of the devotee and the uh, Hari Katha. The water washed the lotus feet of the devotee, Charnamrit. Then the food dust from the pure devotee and the leftovers of the devotee. <coughs> if we get one of these, or if we get three of these, immediately bhakti comes in the heart. Provided it has to be from a pure devotee. Yes. This is a shortcut to bhakti. Nadi said, "When moment I took that, I got totally changed. Bhakti came in my heart, and not only that remnant left over on the plate, but when devotees speak Hari Katha, Krishna Katha, there's also remnants. <clears throat> What is Shrimad Bhagavatam? Remnants of a parrot. Which parrot?" Not ordinary, Radha Rani spirit. Shukdev Goswami. Shuk Mukhat Amrit Dab. The remnants of Shukdev Goswami. <coughs> Shrimad Bhagavatam. So sweet. And by owning the remnant, what's going to happen? Bhakti comes in the heart. Nasta Parayshu Bhadreshu Nityam Bhagavatam Sevai. Then. नहीं आता मैं भी भूल गया नष्ट पराशो भद्रेशो नित्य भागवत सेवया सेवया भक्ति उत्तम श्लोके भक्ति भवति नष्ट की नारायणम नमस्कृत नर चेव अच्छा नहीं भाई समटाइम यू नो वेरी फेमस वर्सेस विच एस कैट स्किप फ्रॉम द माइंड So Narayan said, "Bhakti came in my heart, and in four months, I heard lot of Hari Katha from them. So much Hari Katha from them. <clears throat> When those sadhus were leaving, then I humbly begged them, 'Since you're going, please give me mantra also. I'm so attracted to this bhakti. Give me mantras. And seeing me inquisitive and curious about this, those sadhus." while they leaving they gave me mantra naraj is telling this to him yes so they gave me mantras and then he stopped hmm so more excitement now what happened after mantras naraj don't want to publish this because once bhajan and bhojan 
sadhus, bhajan and bhojan and shayan. Three things is all the secret. <clears throat> Once bhojan means what is eating, how he is resting and third is his bhajan. Most important is bhajan. It's not there to publish. <clears throat> Today I chanted 64 rounds. Put post on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yesterday I got a dream. No, if someone just say, yesterday I got a dream. Naraji came in my dream and gave me some instructions. Publish. <laughs> because I want to get famous. I want adoration. These dreams, these divine dreams need to be kept secret and only revealed to the person means your guru dev that's all it's not for facebook it has to be keep in the book keep your face in that book <coughs> don't publish on facebook yeah programs you can publish that inspire so many people hari katha rath yatra that's different but once personal bhajan <coughs> very secret so naraji gave a pause there and then Ved Vyaji is just staring at him and said, Gurudev, what happened after? He said, okay, since you are my disciple, Naraji further elaborated on this. After receiving mantras, <clears throat> I was thinking, I have only one attachment, that's to my mother. And why, Lord, you keep this attachment with me? Because I have no one else. Now I am coming to this understanding, which is a reality. Don't think sadhus are not emotional. They are emotional, but reality emotional. <clears throat> not fake emotional. Oh, you don't care for mother, you don't care for your father, you don't care for your family. You just want to go away from your responsibilities. This is very ordinary level emotions. But when you come to the higher level of emotions, spiritual emotions, that's the reality. There's no darkness. It's all illumination there. You know? Devotees do care for one's parents, one family. <clears throat> like Prahlad Maharaj, you become a de one devotee in family means you're delivering seven generations. Seven generations. You only worried about your father. What about his father? And then his father. You only obliged to your just your father. What about your grandfather and great grandfather? Hmm? You're obliged to everyone in your whole generation. How are you going to deliver them? Just become devotee of Krishna. They all got liberated. I'm not saying this. Lord Narsingh Dev, he gave this words to Parlad Maharaj. If you become devotee, but Lord Narsingha told to Prahlad Maharaj, your 21 generation already got liberated because of your pure devotion unto me. 21 generations. 21 fathers. And even if you are like a simple devotee, you are qualified to deliver your seven fathers. Means in a, in a lineage, in generation. Seven. <clears throat> so don't think devotees, they are going away from responsibility. They are looking forward for something high. Not just massaging the feet of father is the seva. Or feed them with food is a seva. Or driving for them is a seva. Not just restricted to this. We have to give them spiritual merits and deliver them. And that's where the son is known as putra. One who delivers. Tra means deliverance. Pu means hell called pu. One who delivers uh, ancestors <coughs> from the hell called Pu, called Putra. And there is no other way out. No other way out. No other way out. Only by performing Bhakti. So Naraji said, why this attachment of mother? He was just thinking and then... <coughs> And one day at dusk, mother was there to milk cow and there was a cobra and cobra uh, uh, bit mother and she died. <coughs> Nara said, now I have no one in this world, only me and my Lord. 
And he said, I start traveling across so many rivers, mountains, and I enter in the dense forest where there is not even a light, dense forest. <clears throat> and I sat under one tree and start chanting those mantras given by those sadhus. The moment I chant those mantras, I saw the Lord appeared in front of me. Yeah. Lord appeared in front of me. Nari said, I was adoring the beauty of Lord. But in few moments, he got disappeared. Nari said, I got so restless. I'm running all directions. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where have you gone? It's just like you don't have money. There's nothing to lose. But you got $5 million and got stolen overnight. You know, what happened then? Dukhi. Huh? Dukhi. More dukhi? Mm -hmm. More sad? Yeah. You don't have money, there's no problem. But you got money and then you got stolen or <laughs> then it's a big problem. Nara said, I got such a wealth. But where have you gone? Where have you gone? Then he heard a aerial voice. <coughs> Hanta asmi janmana mama dushtama harti avipak kashayanam dardosham ko yogi nam. Oh Narad, my darshan is very rare. It's not that simple. Only those whose yogas are complete, they get my darshan. Those whose yogas means bhakti is not complete, they can't have my darshan. Your bhakti is complete, that's why you got my darshan. But I'm intentionally disappeared from your vision. To make you more restless in bhakti. <coughs> when there is more restless in bhakti. One strives for that. Work hard for this. But if everything getting so easy. Then there is not so much. <laughs> inclination and. Restlessness. <coughs> and that's the reason sometimes. Many times. Guru and Krishna. They intentionally don't appear in front of us. They want us to cry and weep. They want us to yearn for bhakti, for their darshan. Yeah. And Naraji got so restless and he got unconscious. In Madhuri Kadamni, Vishnu Chakur Thakur described five state of unconsciousness. Some other time. It's a very detailed chapter. When a sadhak get perfection means come on the stage of bhav and very close to prema, <coughs> the final step. You know, there are nine steps. A mother keeps child in the womb for how many months? Nine. Similarly, she guru gives mantra in the ears of disciple and plant the seed of bhakti in the heart of disciple. And the disciple have to come to nine stage to attain the prema of the Lord. Adoshraddha, sadhu sangha, bhajan kriya, anath nivritti, nishta, ruchi, asakti, bha, prema. Ninth. <coughs> and that's, in that situation, <coughs> five unconscious state. Where the Lord comes and wants to give his smell, his touch, his vision, but sadhaka, that practitioner can't see him or can't feel him and gets so restless. Hmm. A very detailed subject. But anyhow, Naraji described it to Vedvyas and Srila Vedvyasji, hearing this pastimes of Naraji, he got so inspired and then he sat in meditation. Bhakti Yogena Manasi Samyak Pratyapya Mane Apasya Purusham Purna Mayasa Padashram In that Prem Bhakti Yoga Naraji sat in meditation and he saw Krishna and not only just Krishna the whole pastimes of Krishna and Mayasa Padashram Maya Devi standing in the back of Krishna she never comes in front of Krishna she feels shy coming in front of Krishna because of her activities what Maya does? Bewildered Jeevas. 
never allow jeevas to come to krishna so she feel embarrassed coming in front of krishna ved vyaji saw this yeah. it's a very detailed subject i just cut short in 40 minutes seven days can go in this topic because there are so many beautiful verses and elaborating those verses which is given by naraji to a learned person ved vyas not just a sinful uh valmiki ratnakar sorry who became valmiki later on or that hunter megari we heard this morning who were killing animals but naraji here is addressing to ved vyas ji so learned personality <coughs> Hmm. Everyone, Shivan Bhagavatam, the story of Chitra ke Tu Maharaj, <coughs> king of the whole planet Earth. <coughs> How many queens he had? One crore, how much was it? Ten million. <coughs> ten million queens. <coughs> he married ten million. One crore Rania. <coughs> He even crossed Krishna. <laughs> no one had that many queens, and why he married so many queens? <clears throat> Just to get one son. But there was not in his fate. He's lamenting so sad. Minister is telling Maharaj, please don't be like this. Everyone losing their hopes, and he's always lamenting. Then Naraji came, seeing that king. O Chitra Ketu, why are you lamenting? Naraji, Guru Dev, please, can you give me one son? Naraji said, I can see your fate. Not what to speak of this word. Seven lifetimes, you have no yoga of a son, no child. No, don't say this. Please give me, please give me, please give me. Forcing Naraji to give. Naraji said, "Okay, take this fruit then. Give to your wife." But remember, this son is going to give you sorrow and happiness, happiness and sorrow. And he didn't focus on these words. Happiness. I am going to get son. That's all. Hmm? Then king gave this fruit to his first queen. She got pregnant, and she delivered a child, a boy. Then all other queens got envious, because king only giving attention to this one queen only. All other means ten million minus one. <laughs> <laughs> this child is a cause. The king is neglecting, ignoring us. So they poisoned the child. <coughs> He died in just one night. Finish. Now King is lamenting so much, crying so much. Now he remembered the words Naraji told: happiness and sorrow. And he got happiness in one day, and next day sorrow. Again, Naraji came with Angira Rishi. Now, okay, what's happening? I told you. <laughs> and naraji gave some sermons some lectures and king got out of this ordinary emotions one day we all have to leave you know the truth of the life the reality of the life and he stopped lamenting and he asked naraji for a mantra naraji gave him mantra and in this way Chitra Ketu Maharaj once upon a time, when he got perfection, he was worshiping Lord Sankarshan. <clears throat> once upon a time, he was in an airplane with some heavenly girls doing sankirtan, and then he saw Shiva sitting and his wife on his lap, Parvati embracing Shiva, and Shiva Mahadev is speaking Hari Katha to so many rishis there. Chitra Ketu Maharaj, from his airplane, said, "Hey, what is this etiquette? <laughs> Speaking Hari Katha with wife on his on your lap?" <laughs> Shiva just smiled. 
but parvati cursed who are you to speak this all these sadhus are sitting they didn't complain you don't know my shiva is beyond three modes of material nature he has no tinge of lust in him how dare you can say that you have demonic mood i curse you may you become a demon hmm chitake to maharaj fold it hands because he is devotee he accepted this curse but then shiva chastised parvati he is my god brother because shiva also worship lord sankarshan and chetu ketu maharaj also worship lord sankarshan so they god brothers he was just joking with me and i was joking back with him why you came in between you don't know the potency of chetu ketu he can kya bolte hai back curse back curse you he can back curse you but because he is devotee narayan para sarva na kutas bhivayati she was telling to parvati narayan para means those devotees of lord they take all circumstances equally if anyone curse them or if anyone glorify them they least affected because they only focus on their services you curse them or you bless them means praise them sorry praise them but in this kali yuga who can curse this is not sati yuga or treta yuga dwapa yuga one who is cursing should also have some purity right so when yeah rishis when they were cursing to anyone they have to sacrifice a portion of their tapasya of their austerity they have to sacrifice is not that so like you have 100 dollars and you curse someone means you sacrificing 20 dollars because they can get gather this again for them is easy ah can we curse each other no we are penniless we don't have anything there is no bhakti there is no sadhan there is no any something like that hmm. so <coughs> for cursing you also have to be qualified <laughs> for someone you also have to be qualified person means you have to be a sadhu you have to be pure you have never done sin in your life then you can curse someone because cursing means you have to sacrifice something so shiva told parvati he can back curse you but because he is devotee he accepted that curse without any fear without any fear she was glorified chitra ke tu maharaj and he became vritasur hmm? so this is one story of naraji then kitna time ho gaya even the curse of naraji is a great blessing <coughs> so how parvati cursed that was in a mode of ignorance <coughs> may you become a demon but naraji also curse and his curse is beyond three modes of material nature is even beyond sattva guna yeah. it's not that naraji is always give blessings or forgive everyone he forgave uh, decoit ratnakar who used to kill brahmins how many brahmins he killed in his life you know the number unimaginable inconceivable but a little hint is given the shastras he filled three well with the brahmin heads that's crazy that's crazy <laughs> three wells with brahmin heads that many brahmins he killed in his life can this person a person like this is worthy of forgiveness I don't think so but in the vision of naraji yes narad forgave him can you imagine conceive this nature of naraji and the nature of krishna forgiveness is 
द बेस्ट क्वालिटी इज सो इज सो हार्ड टू फॉर गिव दिस मॉर्निंग वी हर्ड अ ग्रेट लेक्चर वन आवर ऑन दिस इज सो हार्ड टू फॉर गिव बट नारा जी गॉट अब्यूज बाय मैनी कर्स बाय मैनी बट इज ऑलवेज फॉर गिविंग दैट्स वाई हिज जगत गुरु Let's make distinction. <laughs> What is difference between us and Naraji? If anyone just randomly ask this question, can you forgive someone? No, I won't. Imagine Naraji, one who has killed a decoy who is killing so many Brahmins that he filled three wells with Brahmin threads. That many Brahmins, can you imagine? Can that person be forgiven? Yes. <coughs> Naraji told him. <coughs> Take shelter of holy name. There's the best atonement of every sin and every of offense. Sin and offense are different. Sins, sins are. Uh, <coughs> no, a very low level. <coughs> Offenses are high level. But in both cases, we see in the past time of Mahaprabhu also forgiven. if there is atonement and the best atonement is <coughs> taking shelter of holy name so naraji told ratnakar chant ram and he's trying his hard can't even chant ram which is so easy yes so easy to chant but he can't because his heart has become so hard like a stone <coughs> So Guru Dev, I can't chant this. Can you chant Mara? So that's very easy because I only kill. Throughout my life, I just get killings. Mara is easy. Okay, then chant Mara. But in continuation, then he start chanting Mara, 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 Mara. Reverse of Ram, Mara. So Ulat Nam Jagan Jagajana. Valmiki bhai, Brahm saman. Shri Valmiki became famous because of chanting the reverse of Ram. <coughs> that was only his atonement. And big, big with that, what he attained? Perfection. What perfection? He predicted the past time of Lord Ram. He wrote down Ramayan prior to Shri Ram took birth. Prediction. Ah, Ram. This is how Ram will take birth. and he will be in exile and all this all prediction before prior to ram took birth because of holy name this narad ji and then hunter who mrigari who used to kill animals half dead narad ji also transformed him yeah. so seems like is very cool but he also curse <coughs> his anger and his anger and curse is not in harsh abusive words a past time in bhagavatam <coughs> in krishna leela when nal kuber mani grieve two sons of kuber intoxicated intoxicated is not just smoking intoxication intoxicated with that i'm we are young right we are handsome intoxication in pride our father is rich guy kuber we don't care for anyone <coughs> and they were swimming with some naked uh, ladies having nice time water splashing past times and naraji was walking by those ladies got so embarrassed this covered their bodies <coughs> and nal kuber mani grief Can you imagine they came naked in front of Naraji, naked in front of a sadhu. Naraji felt compassion on them. You have no shame, shameless people, and sons of Kuber, who has such a high profile and respectable position. This is your condition because of intoxication, pride because we you have so much wealth. and young age youth <coughs> just because of that 
curse you. If you like to become naked, let you become naked like trees. Trees are always naked. But this curse of Naraji was not in an abusive word or a harsh word. Bhagavatam described he was singing while he gave curse. <laughs> Can you curse someone by singing? May you die. <laughs> I curse you, never get happiness in your life. <laughs> Curse is always in a very rough language, right? I curse you. May you never get happy. This and that, so much. Mode of ignorance. And when mode of ignorance comes, one loss, one's intelligence. Gita saying this. When mode of ignorance empowered, one lose one's intelligence. Don't understand what he's speaking or to whom he's speaking. <coughs> Abusive words. Naraj is not like this. He's cursing, but what kind of curse? And he's qualified to curse. To curse someone, you also need qualification. You should be qualified to curse because you're sacrificing your austerities. But what austerities you have? How can you curse? Naraj curse in a singing mode. May you become trees. That means that curse of Naraj is not actually curse. He wants to correct them. Yeah? And he wants to bless them. That's the curse of Naraji. So they became trees in the backyard of Yashoda Mayananda Baba, where Krishna enacted childhood pastimes in the courtyard, touching trees so many times, stealing butter and rubbing. You know, Yashoda Maya chasing Krishna and he's having butter in his hand, he's just rubbing on those trees to show her, no, my hands are good. It's clean. And it's playing hide and seek. So many times, this, those two trees, they saw all childhood pastimes of Krishna. Is this is a curse or a blessings? Blessings. So Naraji curse is a blessing in disguise. Naraji curse is the blessings in disguise. That's the nature of Naraji. Those Nalkuber money grieve. <coughs> this all the pastimes of Krishna. And then what happened? The tree got uprooted. When Krishna entered through those trees, uprooted. And they became Snigdhkant and Madhukant in Golok Vrindavan. Always describing the pastimes of Krishna. Snake become in the morning session and Madhukant in the evening session. And who's listening to us? Who are the audience? Brajavasis. Beautiful description. Anand Vrindam Champu. Nanda Baba sitting with his friends in one section. And there's very subtle veil. Yashoda Maya with her friends. Sridham Subal friends in their section. Radha Rani and the Lalita Vishaka gopis in her section. And Snake Kant is describing whatever Krishna enacted past times. Krishna did that, Krishna did that, Krishna did that. And Krishna to a surprise, seeing to Sridha, really we did that? <laughs> They're relishing. What a great service. Snake Kant is speaking in front of Krishna and Brajavasis. In the evening session, Madhu Kant, with his Madhu Kant, sweet huh? words. Describing the past tense of Radha and Krishna. And Radha, Radha Rani is blushing. Hearing this, oh, how Madhukant is describing his past tense. So is this is curse or this is blessings? blessings? So even the curse of Naraji is the blessings in disguise. That's the nature. We'll continue tomorrow. To be continued because Naraji pastimes are endless, is Ananta. Even those pastimes are Ananta, we are, we are giving a pause, Anta, to this Ananta pastimes of Naraji. She Naraji ki. Yes, be. So we know Sri Naraji is an eternally liberated divine personality. He's Sri Vasakura. 
So how do you uh, how do you um, see? He's describing this pastime. I was a child. I got remnants from the sadhus. <coughs> so it appears like I skipped that point. Okay. Because Naraji, when he was chanting those mantras in the forest, when he got perfection, already the Lord told him. When you get perfection, the mantra, you become eternal associate, my eternal associate. So you're going to take birth again, and then you become my eternal associate. And then Naraji was waiting for the time when he's going to leave his body. So when he left his body, <coughs> then there was annihilation. For thousands of years, Naraji, all the jivas entered into Brahma, Brahma into Mahavishnu. And when the creation happened after thousands of years, then from the navel of Vishnu, Brahma got birth, and then Naraji got birth from Brahma. Hmm. And this, here in this case, Naraji is eternal associate of the Lord, not that Naraji was the son of maid servant. So, three kind of Mahabhagavas. Murchit Kasai, Nirdut Kasai, and Bhagavad Prapta Devta. <coughs> Murchit Kasai means a tinge of, a smell of unwanted desires remains. Even that a person, a, a sadhaka, don't get perfection. The example given is Naraji when he was son of a maid servant. He was hearing pastimes. Bhakti came in his heart by honoring the remnants. But Bhagavad, uh, <clears throat> other Kasai, Naraji was standing under that tree, chanting mantra. If any deer comes there, Naraji used to chase the deer away. Go away. This is my tree. So even at that point, even at that high level, we are considering this is my house. You are not allowed to even come here. It's mine. Still, there is some kashai. Kashai means mm, desire to hmm? sin. Desire to sin. No. Kuch kami hai. Kuch kami Something is not something sin. Less. Not desire. sin. Desire. Yeah. No, not desire. Kashai means in a very, very subtle, in a very subtle form, some desires. Not sin, but some little desire. Like this is my tree. Vishnu Chakra Thakur describing there in this verse, Nara is thinking, this is my tree. Dear, you can't be here. Go away from here. Attachment? Attachment. Possessiveness. Possessiveness, right. Very little. Very, means Very little. even a, a, just a tinge, a smell of that. But in the next birth, Naraji became eternal associate of Lord. <clears throat> And he's the one who's giving everyone access to the Krishna. Dhruva Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj, Valmiki, Mrigari, all those personalities, Chitragetu Maharaj. But he also longing for someone. If he bless someone or with his words, with his curse, he's making everyone have access with Krishna. But Narad himself is feeling some scarcity. He wants someone else's blessings too. Then he came to Govardhan and he sat in Bhakti to meditate on the lotus feet of Radharani to seek the blessings and the mercy of Radharani. Naraji in Narad Kund and Govardhan opposite to Kusum Sarovar. Hmm. Yeah. And he became a Nardiya Gopi after getting blessings from I mean, longing for the blessings of uh, Radharani to get the food dust from the lotus feet of Nar uh, Radharani. Naraji became Narade Gopi. And Radharani handed over one Veena. Radharani handed over one Veena to Naraji. What is the name of that Veena? Oh, I'll give you double prashad. <laughs> if you answer me. <coughs> what is the name of that Veena Naraji, uh, Radharani gave to Naraji? Huh? No? If I say you remember for the next time? 
देवदत्त दिस वीना एंड वेन नारज इज होल्डिंग दैट वीना इज गोइंग अराउंड एंड सिंगिंग और इज सिंगिंग नारद मुनि बजाए बिना राधिका रमन नामी वट इज आई थिंग राधा रमन राधा रमन राधा रमन है ना सो टू बी कंटिन्यू टू मोरो जय जय राधा रमन हरि को जय जय महाराज की yeah. Yeah.